Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Class 188. Let's go! Beginner. Hello, everybody. How are you today? How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? ¿Qué tal? How are you doing? ¿Qué tal estás? How are you? ¿Qué tal? How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. And you? Oh, not bad. Not bad. How are you doing? Very common. Very common structure, that one. How are you doing? It's good to consider other ways of saying, Hello, how are you? How are you doing is very common. How are you? Es más como... Es más como... ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? How are you doing? There's an extra word, but it's actually... Less formal. How are you doing? How's it going? How's it going, Kyle? Oh, not bad. Not bad. And you? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Yesterday we saw some questions with anywhere. So give me an answer using anywhere. Where can I leave my bag? Oh, you can, you can leave your bag anywhere. Where can I buy cigarettes in Spain? You can buy cigarettes anywhere. Where can I find tortilla in this city? You can find tortilla anywhere. Where can I get a cup of coffee? You can get a cup of coffee anywhere. Where can I get a beer? You can get a beer anywhere. Where can I hear people speaking Spanish in Spain? You can hear people speaking Spanish anywhere. Where can I watch football on TV? You can watch football anywhere. Where can I, where can I buy colacao in Spain? You can buy colacao anywhere. Well, in, in any supermarket, really. Very popular in Spain. I do enjoy that beverage. I like it. It's very nice. All right, let's take a look at our second topic, which was spelling. Spelling. Now, it's very important to be able to spell. Okay? And um, we have these certain words that we associate with each letter. And this will help you if you learn this. And if you remember these, it will help you when you're dictating spelling on the telephone. So I would like to review these with you. We have A as in. Now, in Spanish, you say A de... Alpha. Well, in, in, in English we say as in alpha. Alpha. And B as in bravo. Bravo. C as in Charlie. D as in delta. E as in echo. 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 F as in foxtrot. G as in golf. Golf. H as in hotel, I as in India, J as in Juliet, K as in kilo, L as in Lima, M as in Mike, N as in November, O as in Oscar, P as in Papa, Papa, Q as in Quebec. R as in Romeo, not Romeo, but Romeo. S as in Sierra. T as in Tango, the popular dance in Argentina. Tango, Tango. U as in Uniform. V as in Victor. Victor, Victor. Uh, w as in Whiskey. Whiskey. X as in X-ray. Y as in Yankee, not 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 Yankee, but y Yankee, Yankee. 
and Z or Z, as in Zulu. Zulu. So remember, remember the the G and the J, in fact, start with a ch, -ch like a CH sound. But we activate the vocal cords at the same time. Ch -ch 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 George Bush. George Bush Jr. I guess this is a pronunciation lesson. Let's practice a little pronunciation. Pronunciation? What? Yeah, okay, pronunciation, ladies and gentlemen. The J and the G. Okay, the J and the G. The J, the J, the J and the G are pronounced almost like a like a ch, but then we activate the vocal cords, vibrating the vocal cords. We have j, 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 George Bush Jr. George Bush Jr. For example, and then we also have the V sound, victory in Valencia. The V. It has nothing to do with a B. It's it's nothing like a B. Mm -hmm. It's it's an F. It's secretly an F. And we take the F and we activate the vocal cords. V very good V. Victory in Valencia. Okay, and now the X. X. It's like E K S X. Okay, it's not a it's not an S, it's an X. And finally the 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 Z. It's almost like an S, but we activate the vocal cords. Z, 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 Z. There's the Z, the last letter of the alphabet. So let's practice now with a little bit of spelling. All right, spelling. How do you spell shoe? Oh, well, you spell shoe S H O E. Okay. How do you spell the word calendar? Calendar. Calendar. Oh, you spell the word calendar. C-A-L-E-N-D-A-R. Como? Ah, yes. C-A-L-E-N-D-A-R. Okay? C as in Charlie. A as in Alpha. L as in Lima, E as in Echo, D as in Delta, A as in Alpha, and R as in Romeo, calendar. How do you spell the word, whoa, tiger, tiger. How do you spell the word tiger? Whoa, yes, tiger, not, not tiger, but tiger. You spell it T-I-G-E-R. Right, good. Tiger, tiger, tiger. How do you spell the word magazine? Magazine. Oh, you spell the word magazine M-A-G-A-Z-I-N-E. And how do you spell the word computer? Computer. You spell the word computer C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R. Computer. And finally, ooh, whoa, elephant, elephant, elephant. How do you spell the word elephant? You spell the word elephant E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T, elephant, elephant. Yes, you spell the word elephant, E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. Remember, the P-H they make an F sound, like phone, telefono, telephone, or simply phone is P-H-O-N-E, phone. So it's the same as an F sound. All right? All right, let's, uh, let's move on. Why don't we move on? Let's advance. Word of the day. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our word of the day. Our word of the day today is to reach, which is Alcanzar, alcanzar, to reach, to reach. Now, I can reach, like, extending my arm, extender, 
to, to extend my arm across the table. I have to, I can't reach my book. I'm trying to reach my book, but I can't reach it. It's too far away. It's so far away that I can't reach it. Yeah, I'm trying to reach my book. Now, we can also reach to reach a goal, to reach the, to reach the top of the mountain. We were trying to reach the top of the mountain. We were trying to reach one million dollars in sales, ventas, sales, to reach, right? So to reach, R-E-A-C-H. How do you spell that? You spell it R-E-A-C-H, reach, alcanzar. That's our word of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look now at class 88. Oh, sorry, excuse me, 188. The verb to sleep. Every day I sleep. Yesterday I slept. Slept. With the nice T sound there. Last night I slept at home. Yes. I slept in my house. I didn't sleep in a hotel. I didn't sleep at a friend's house. I slept at home last night. I did. Mm -hmm. Did you sleep all night last night? Give me an affirmative answer. An affirmative answer. Yes, Kyle, I slept all night last night. Did you sleep well? Yes, I slept well. Did you sleep in a... Well, did you sleep in your bed, in your own bed? Yes, I slept in my own bed. Did you sleep with a fan on? A fan? <sighs> Blowing air. A f did you sleep with a fan on? Yes, I slept with a fan on. Do you sleep well in the summer? Because I don't. I don't sleep well in the summer. It's too hot for me. I don't sleep well. No. Yes, do, do you? Because, no, well, I, I don't. I, I sleep with a fan on, and it, it still, it's not good. I prefer the winter. I sleep much better in the winter when the room is a little bit cool and I have some blankets. I sleep much better. I do. I really do. Yes. So to sleep. Every day I sleep. Yesterday I slept. And that's our word of the day. Okay. So, well, that's our, that's our, our, our verb, not the word of the day. Our, our word of the day was to reach. But here, that is our, our structure. To sleep, slept. So remember that verb, slept. That nice T sound in the past. Okay, now we can move on and take a look at our vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it is time for our vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. And our first word today is extranjero, como yo, no? Extranjero, foreigner, foreigner. Also a popular 1980s rock band, but foreigner. How do you spell that? You spell it F-O-R-E-I-G-N-E-R, -E -E foreigner. Salud. Salud is health, h e a l T H, H E A L T H, health, health. Colina, Colina is a hill, 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 H I L L. Imagen, Imagen is image, image. Mm hmm. I can see the image, or you have to. You can be aware of your personal image, your public image. For example, imagen. Impresionante. Impresionante. Impressive. Im with an M. Remember, closing the lips with the letter M. Impressive. Impressive. Like in Star Wars. Star Wars, if you are familiar, if you know Star Wars, there is a scene, a famous scene, where Luke Skywalker is fighting Darth Vader. And Luke does very well. And Darth Vader says, impressive, right? More or less. So our five words, foreigner, extranjero, health, salud, hill, colina, and image, imagen, impressive, impresionante. 
Finally, we have one more thing to look at, which is a little review, a practice with this, that, these, and those. This, that, these, and those. Esta colina es alta. This hill is high. Estos son tuyos. These are yours. So be careful. Be careful with the pronunciation. This, esta, this, e, e, e. Ese es un sonido que no existe exactamente en español, en castellano. E, this, e, e, this. Y luego estos, these, e, e, these. This is better than these. This, esta, this is better than these, estos. Esos zapatos fueron baratos. Esos, que están ahí lejos, plural. Those shoes were cheap. Those shoes were cheap. Esos estaban en la estantería. Those were on the shelf. Those were on the shelf, yes. So a few questions. Give me an affirmative answer. Are these as good as those? Yes. These are as good as those. Is this one as good as that one? Is this one as good as that one? Yes. This one is as good as that one. Okay, now ask me what the difference is between this one and that one. Kyle, what is the difference between this one and that one? Well, this one is bigger and it's much faster, for example. So this, that, these, and those. So this. It's close, it's near, and it's singular. If it's singular and it's far away, that, ese. These. These, these, yes, estos, these, and then finally, those, esos, those. Okay, so we have seen this now, and we will see it again. We will practice this tomorrow, but I'm out of time. I don't have any time left. Okay, so thank you for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. So much more. But only a few classes left, so make sure you listen to every single class here on the radio. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>